Well, joining me now via Zoom from Abuja to discuss uh, the president's request is the executive director, lead network, uh, Chukuma Okengwa. Thank you for joining us on the news. It, now, yeah, talk to us so what your impression is of the, the president's recent request to borrow uh, about uh, $4 billion. Bearing in mind that our debt profile as, about, as, at, uh, as at March, rather, is uh, over 33 trillion naira as we speak. Honestly, on hearing that, the first uh, reaction from me was, why again? Hasn't we really gotten to the threshold when we understand that at the moment, where we are spending 80% of our revenue to service debt, we ought to have gotten to the threshold, of course. Or is the president looking out for a time where 100% of our revenues can actually be diverted to managing of debt? That is not economically stable. That is not economically viable. Yes, we also, we've had some economists and some leaders argue that this is already in the external borrowing plan of uh, uh, 218 to 221. But we as the presidency is interested in meeting up with the external borrowing plan. Why is it not living up to the economic growth plan as well? So you discover that when we are not growing sustainably, and you want to compare yourself with other nations that are more viable, larger economies, you know, they have all of the infrastructures. And with all of the borrowings, we've not seen all of those things translate into economic development in our dear nation. Then I stand to say, that borrowing, continue borrowing, we further plunge the nation into economic crisis. Well, what many do you think we are not doing do? right with this money that uh, is not, hasn't had that impact or hasn't been beneficial to the economy? What are we not doing correctly? Because we see that we are not the only country that borrows. A majority of the countries across the world borrow. Of course, when you talk about borrowing, they borrow for the right reasons. It's not just enough to, you know, reel out a lot of issues you want to make interventions. In. But we still see, like in Nigeria's own case in borrowing, there is that aspect of misplaced priorities. Let me start to say that the monies we've invested into fighting COVID-19, considering the level of threat in our own nation, which is very minimal, I start to say that it, it's like it, we've really hosted a whole lot of, you know, wasted a whole lot of funds in fighting COVID-19 than is expected of a nation like us. I mean, we have more critical issues to address rather than like spending. And then we've also, we, we've also seen like an intelligence disclosure of aside from the safe corridor project to, to the repentant Boko Haram, another scheme which is secret of divesting this fund, some are also spent into paying of ransoms. We also see that like uh, even like when some quotes of amount of money that was invested into feeding school children that are at home, so we see like a government or, or, or just like the, 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 the wedding of, of the president's son where the like iPhones were shared. You know, these monies are being spent as to say we are in an economic boom. These things ought not to be so. It is not economically right. It doesn't just make sense that we think we don't have all of the money, yet we are spending it on ephemerals. So what options are available to us as a country if we do not want to go the way of borrowing? I think the, it is very clear that this president is not listening to economists, the best minds. Yes, when, 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 when he convened like the likes of uh, Rewane, you know, to give advice, a kind of an, an economic advice maker, we, we were very excited that with this set of men, things were really going to change. But it's very clear he is not listening to such men. So listening to economic advice is very, very important from prof professionals, not from politicians, who are only just interested in their pocket. Because at the end of the day, who pays these funds? It is the future of Nigeria that is being mortgaged in our very present. Let me ask President Buhari, is Nigeria going to end with the administration? If the answer is no, then we should be able to have sustainability in our mind. Your challenge, your role your, of, the, of the administration would be to grow the economy, not to borrow money. We are not looking for where to borrow money. We are looking for where Things can be secure for our children, health sector, education, in every area. We want a better country. If you want to compare yourself with America and all the rest, how much they are owing, are you in any way comparable to America in terms of economic realities? 
these things is what we should be thinking and thinking about. All right. That will be a fine place to leave this conversation. Uh, Executive Director, Lead Network, uh, Chukuma Okingwa. Thank you for your time on the news. Thank you so much.